Hey guys, Adam here from Think Pro Basketball and in this video we are going to talk about how to post up against a bigger defender. Maybe you have a mismatch in a game or in practice and you need to be able to execute a post move and score against a bigger, faster, taller, stronger defender. Let's take a look at it. First thing that you want to do when you're posting up against a bigger defender is you always want to play to your strengths and your strengths when going up against a bigger defender especially if they're a shot blocker is to use your quickness and your speed to do that Aaron is going to want to get a catch off of the block what's that what that is going to allow him to do is use his advantage against me use his speed use his quickness to blow by me and get to the basket. Whereas if we were playing and he was trying to post me up right on the block, which is traditional post up, then I would have the advantage because I would be bigger than him, I could block his shot, I could you know, strength, use my strength against him. So he doesn't have the advantage here. He has the advantage off of the block because it gives him space. So he can use his dribble and get by me. So the first pivot that we're going to work on is a quick forward pivot. So let's get a catch right around here. Let's say, you know, Aaron's posting up, he just got a post catch, and I'm playing defense, and I'm playing right up on him, okay? So maybe I'm the bigger defender, but I'm still bodying him up out here. Aaron, once again, going to use his quickness and his speed to get around me to the basket. So he's gonna use a quick forward pivot, turn to the baseline, and he's gone to the basket. So he's already beat me, and I'm playing catch up, I'm playing recovery. So once again, that quick forward pivot is used when I'm playing close up on him, he's gone, he's already at the basket. Now make sure when you execute this quick forward pivot, you stay low and you keep your balance, okay? Keep your balance so that even if I'm still leaning on him and pushing on him, even when he's here and I'm pushing on him, he still has his balance, he has a solid framework so that he doesn't lose balance and travel. Let's take a look at that quick forward pivot in game speed. Now the next move in our three quarter post, post up against a bigger defender is using a reverse pivot squaring up and popping a jump shot in their face. Now this is used when that bigger defender is sagging off of you. They know that you're quick, they know that you're fast, they know that you can beat them off the dribble, so they're playing off of you. Maybe they're sitting right under the rim or they're sitting in the key waiting for you to come to them. So instead of going at them and getting your shot blocked or going body to body with them, Aaron's going to get a catch at three-quarter post so that he has the advantage. He's going to use a reverse pivot to square up. And me, as the defender, I'm waiting here for him. I'm waiting here as a shot blocker at the rim, okay? Instead of coming to me and closing that gap, Aaron's going to square up, see that I'm playing off of him, and pop a jump shot right in my face. Let's take a look at this footwork in real time. move in our series is using a shot fake to draw your defender away from the rim and go around them for a nice easy lane to the basket. Now Aaron once again is going to get a catch on the three-quarter post so that he has the advantage against the bigger defender. He's going to square up using a reverse pivot. He sees that I'm sitting under the rim but maybe he's not confident in his shot at this point in the game. Maybe he wants to draw a foul. Maybe he wants to draw me away from the rim to take away that rebound opportunity. One way or another, Aaron's going to use, instead of shooting it now, he's gonna use a shot fake, which is gonna draw me out for the shot blocking opportunity. 
and then Aaron's going to sweep and go by me for a wide open lane to the basket. Let's take a look at this in real time. enjoyed this video and I hope that you execute these moves in practices and in games so that you can score against bigger stronger and faster defenders click here to go to our website enter your email address and get your 100% free workout sent to your email inbox if for any reason this link isn't working click the link below this video in the first line of the description once again, I'm Adam, this is Think Pro Basketball. Thank you for trusting us with your basketball education. And until next time, keep grinding.